What's up my sexy viewers, it's Real Touch GML here bringing you guys another Game Maker tutorial and today we're going to be doing something pretty exciting and that is timestamps, right? So basically we can uh, create something that shows your current date, your current year, your current month, your current time exactly. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome, so let's get right in. So first off, we can, we can go ahead and create an object here, so just create object and go into the draw event and just put in some code and here we go now first off if i get enough people saying they want a part two and part two would be hey say you have an rpg game or something if you want something to happen on this specific date then that will happen so say you want you know you want this huge lightning bolt to rain down from the sky and destroy a village full of midgets let's just say it okay uh you can do that that's fine on this specific date. So go ahead and put down in the comment section if you want me to do a part two on this. But for today, we're just going to be generating, uh, you know, drawing what the time is. First off, let's put, let's make some curly braces and let's make a variable. And let's call it DT. And this will equal date, current, date, time. Okay, now that's storing this DT variable into uh, basically what this does is it gets the date, it gets the year, it gets the month, it gets everything for you. Okay, it's actually pretty simple now. Again, it's nothing too complex. All we do now is draw text. We can draw it at say 0, 24. And here all we have to do is say date, date, time, string, and then in the parentheses, DT. That's all we have to do. So let's go ahead and create a room. Let's just plop it in there and let's play it. As you can see right here, it says our month, our day, our year, and our time. And as you can see in the bottom right, it is 5-10-2013, 5-14 p.m. And this is um, it's not what the U.S. uses, but, but uh, the actual time. So there you go. Now you can actually fool around with this just a little bit more. So instead of date, date, time, string, we could say date, uh, date, string. So just that. If we run it now, as you can see, it does not give the time. Or if we just wanted the time, we could say date, time, string. And as you can see, now it just displays the time. So that's about it. Go and leave a like, go and subscribe. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, you know, hopefully you got something out of this tutorial. And go ahead and leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 30 likes this time. And I will see you sexy programmers next time. Peace.